Hey guys, Toxic here and welcome to the second episode of Features of Tox UI. In this video, we'll be going over the themes of Tox UI. So if we open the settings and go to the themes tab of Tox UI, we can see we have two tabs here, gradient mode and dark mode. Gradient mode is active by default and that's where we get these vibrant colors from. It's very important to note that while you have gradient mode enabled, some of the LVI options have no effect because they are being overwritten by our feature. The settings page of the gradient mode is pretty self-explanatory. We have all the information here. You can change the class color. So for example, currently I am on mage. So if I go and do this, you can see that the color instantly changes. And the same goes for details as well. So we have class colors, we have NPC colors, where you can change random NPCs. So for example, if I target this guy, he's a friendly, so we have the green color. And we can of course change that to whatever we want. And if you ever feel like you messed up, just click default and it's back to what it was. Then we have power colors for all the different power colors of, uh, you know, different classes. Other colors for disconnected, stabbed, dead, uh, gas bar colors too. And lastly, we have the settings page. Now in the settings page, you have a couple of options. The first one, you can change the unit frame textures of, uh, of various unit frames. So for example, if I have, I have the health texture and I want to make it to the toxy fade, there we go. That changes. And then let's see. Let me just cast some spells so we see the mana going down, down, down. Now let's change the texture to, I don't know, half fade. Bam, the texture changed. And the same goes for the cast bar as well. So let's do plate or focus, for example. Cast a spell. And you can see the texture is in effect. Next, we have the background with brightness. So if the value goes higher, the background is lower. If the, higher, if the value goes lower, the background is darker. Simple as that. Then we have the health color. So you may have already noticed how right now the health is at uh, a yellow color. And that's because we have the yellow threshold set at 75. So if the target, well, the unit is below 75% health, their uh, health color will change to yellow. If they're below 35, They'll change to red color. Let's hope I don't kill myself. Let's try that again. That was very close. Let's see. And I died, but doesn't matter because we can still see the health color change to red while under 35% threshold. And of course you can customize that threshold uh, for example, if you want to, it to turn red, you can set it to 20. If you want it to turn yellow at 50, you can do that as well. That is customizable. And last but not least, we have saturation boost. So basically this takes all of your gradient colors for unit frames and for details. And it, uh, you know, boosts their saturation, I guess, but that's not really correct. It more like changes the lightness and the saturation of the colors so let's enable that and you can see it went to 0.7 lighter and 1.3 lighter on the other color so um, let me reset the color so it's visible more easily default color default color so this is saturation boost on this is off and for example if i want to make this side darker i can go like 0.4 if I want this lighter, like your white, I can go to two. And again, you know, play around with these settings. They are off by default. But if you like it, you can enable it. Now, if you don't like gradient mode, then you want to customize and control your unit frame colors purely by LUI settings, you can do that. Simply disable gradient mode, 
and it's off then we can go to unit frames change the texture here do do whatever we want we can go to the colors health disable class health make it i don't know red the, you know after you disable gradient mode you can go into the lvi unit frames and configure it there if you want to and once we enable gradient mode it's all back to normal and the second theme that box ui has is dark mode and of course this is very self-explanatory i guess it just makes everything dark and you can see that you can only have one theme activated at the same time and we have to disable gradient mode so we're gonna do that and then we go to dark mode and after a quick short screen we are in dark mode cool basically what this does it uh, changes you know details and unit frames and the fonts you have to be dark text is class colored then and uh, dark mode doesn't have much uh, settings but it does have details gradient text so if we take a look at the details you may notice that it's not uh, that it's uh, gradient and not plain blue so if we change this to red you can clearly see the difference let me just update let me just update the bars there we go mage is now red to blue and I was also wondering why the hell did these two texts not update, but that's because it needed to reload. So yeah, <laughs> remember to always reload your UI if, if after doing any changes. And then we also have the transparency for dark mode. So let me try and uh, suicide again. Hopefully I don't die. There we go. You can see that the backdrop is transparent and we can control this in the same way. And it also, you know, changes for details too, so put it to 0.3 or something. And again, uh, dark mode kind of forces some settings in, in both LVI and details. So if you want to have full control, disable dark mode. And that is it for the Tox UI themes. Hope you learned something new. If you didn't, share it to your friends who don't know what Tox UI is. Maybe, maybe they'll get interested. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.